Hey guys, I'm Elena Scantlin and welcome to Emmy Watch 2013 with Deadline Awards columnist Pete Hammond. He is breaking down the primetime Emmys this year in the comedy category. Now this is where Modern Family always dominates. Is it going to be the same this year? Yeah, the Emmys have a habit of once they give an award to something, they tend to give it. Remember Frazier won five years in a row. So Modern Family's won for uh, three years and a lot of people think, hey, it's going to go for number four. Uh, and it may well. It's a French Canadian delicacy called poutine. Well, it looks like vomit, so I'm not putting it in my mouth. I mean, because uh, Emmy voters tend to be lazy in the comedy category. Remember, 30 Rock won mm -hmm. a lot. 30 Rock's last season is yep. this year. It's back in the running here in a big way. There could be a nod to 30 Rock, you know, an unusual move of giving it an Emmy after it had stopped winning a few years ago. However, this is such a hard category. There's so many good shows. Louie is a terrific show on what FX. A talent. I love it. It's so inventive. Should I call you or? Nope. That was great though, thanks. What I think is finally gonna win here though and break the modern family streak is the number one comedy on television. I think it's gonna match the ratings winner here with quality, and that's the Big Bang Theory. I think it's finally happening. Finally. This is the move. year for the Big Bang Theory. Chuck Lorre, you will be happy to hear that. So well done, so consistently well done. People seem to love it. I just have a feeling that we're, we're gonna have a, a streak broken with the Modern Family thing this year and Big Bang will win it. Now, Actors. in the lead actor, you know, I love Jason Bateman in Arrested Development. The show wasn't as good as it used to be though. Um, I have a feeling this nomination is all he's gonna get and that was really all um, Arrested Development got this year. Jim Parsons, always so good. He won a couple of years in a row for Big Bang Theory. I love Matt LeBlanc, Don Cheadle, Alec Baldwin, he's always good, but Louis C.K., this guy is so great in that. He's I brilliant. think it's between Louis and a return of Jim Parsons here. Uh, I'm gonna give the edge to Louis. Speaking of another Louis, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Yeah, Do you think nice. she's gonna, you like that segue? <laughs> <laughs> Julia Louis-Dreyfus is gonna win again this year. She won for Veep, she's very unusual. She's won an Emmy for every series she's been in. No other actor has been able to do that. You know, Seinfeld and, and the other one she had, and then this one. Uh, so she's on a roll and she's so good. And that show got a lot better in its second season. I don't see, in, the thing is she's funny too. I don't think Laura Dern in Enlightened or Lena Dunham in no. Girls or Edie Falco and Nurse Jackie are funny. What are they doing in the comedy category? Let's vote for someone who's funny and that we love and that's Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Looks like it's going to be a Louis Louis night. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Pete. You can follow Pete and all of his coverage at Deadline.com as well as on Twitter at DeadlinePete. That's your Twitter handle. I'm Elena Scantlin. Thanks for watching.